that something was wrong. It, I don't know if my phone pushed, if my tripod pushed the wrong button and made me hang up. So I was talking crap about all the people that could never be at the same place every day of the week that they wanted to be. If you asked them to be, if you paid them to be, to be there at that specific time on the dot, you realize how many unpunctual people there are in this world. That's what I'm asking. And no, I'm right now, right now I'm giving myself a big pat on the back, maybe even a hug and a smooch and uh, probably a good little reach around. But hello, my friends. What I'd like to know from you guys first is, you made it. What I'd like to know is, can you hear me? <laughs> That's number one. Hey, Chris. What's up, Steve? Can you hear me? That is question number one. It just started, Gretel. You are, let's see, yeah, okay. Sweet. And you hear me? Okay. I'm, I got one more, uh, one more test. Oh, didn't miss anything. We just started. Um, one more test, you guys. I, I'm using these earphones because I know sometimes when I'm checking the thing back, it, it sounds like if I'm talking from the front versus if I turn it around, like the audio is just not that great. And I want it to be good. I don't care if I look ridiculous with these things in as long as it sounds really good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go step outside the window. If these things are working like I think they are, you should still hear me. So um, I'm going to go outside. I'm going to keep talking. And then I'm going to come back and check with you guys, see if you can still hear me. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me like I'm sitting right next to you? Because if so, we're doing good. All right, see how we're doing. All right, fantastic. That's what I like to hear. Yeah, I wanted it, I wanted it to sound good first. So, rock and roll. I guess first things first, we should uh, we should bust out sangria because that's what I put on the thumbnail, and I I don't I don't want to be a I don't want to be a liar. Cody, you say it's better better straight out of the phone? Better without without this? Everybody else is saying like, uh, hmm. I sound like a robot at times. Maybe it can't handle it. I can always turn it off. Let's hit, let's have a vote real quick. Headphones in or headphones off? For sure better without, Chris says. Mad Boy likes it. Uh-oh, we're having a, we're having a, it's breaking up some echo. Okay, let's turn it off. Screw this. anyway but now can, can you guys hear me now sometimes these things are just messy and they don't they don't let me mess around can you if you okay so you can still hear me awesome sweet they're messing with my equilibrium anyway. i think i was about to fall over in a second so let's get out sangria thank you guys for helping that i really appreciate it being my my guinea pigs for uh for what it is and what it was what it will be there she is in all her glory what's up baby i'm wondering if she's gonna take she's been with the she's locked up with uh, travis's mail twice now so that's awesome and she's she's such a good, good girl in fact i think she likes this better than her other enclosure Every now and then she would start to nudge at some of the corners of the other enclosure and I would see it on her nose a little bit right there. And right now it's not having, see, this is, this is a great blood python. I can put my finger right here, no hook training or anything like that. She just, she knows the smell. She knows the difference. It's good. Her last poop <laughs> quite some time ago. So long ago. I don't, I don't remember. I'd, I'd have to look it up in my uh, little app and I could give you an exact answer, but let's get a better angle on you, girl. What do you say? Oh, now you got something to say, huh? There we go. So here's blood, <laughs> here's blood python. Here's sangria. She's always a crowd, a live stream favorite. I don't know if it was just cause uh, There she goes. Um, she eats very infrequently. Um, I don't have her on like a, oh, are we losing people? Are we losing the stream? I hope not. Man, why does it have to be such, I need to call my internet folks. 
and see what's going on there. It's going good, Taylor. Um, I don't know exactly how much she weighs. I could throw her on a scale. She's probably weighs more than my scale can handle at this point. Um, I don't know exactly how long she is. She must be about five, six, no, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, she couldn't be any more than four feet, I don't think. But she's a, she's a great snake. Just a, I mean, for how she started out when she first got here, she's so much better than, than she was. Just night and day with her temperament. Hey, Lisa. Hey, welcome, Sarah. Um, you know, she never actually got her teeth on me, but she did strike at me many, many times. And one cool thing about blood pythons, or at least this blood python, is she always, when she wants to kind of get away, she'll go backwards. Like her whole body, she'll completely slither backwards completely. It's kind of cool. Um, how long did it take to tame her down? You know, I want to say it was a good half a year, at least, until she got some size. And even now you can tell she's a little bit uncomfortable. She's backing up. You know, that's that's a good sign that she's fairly uncomfortable, is that, that reversing. But she's good. She hasn't struck at me in forever. I did have her at an educational thing at the Turtle Club one time, and somebody walked by, and she tried to strike at them. And if you've ever seen a, if you've ever seen a blood python... Uh, strike they use their whole body it's like their whole body goes flying it's like i <laughs> it was lucky i had a good hold on her or she would have gone flying right out of my arms huh you're a full body striker so let's talk about let's talk about something else uh we can still leave her out though we'll talk about we'll leave her out and we'll talk about something else let's do that Mr. Gundy is on the stream. What is up, my man? Brian, I think this is your first live stream. Uh, I'm glad that's working out for you, girl. Really good, really good. Um, I'm not sure how big she's going to get exactly. I really couldn't tell you. Uh, yeah, the other blood is still here. Mr. Touche also made a live stream. So here's what we're doing. Oh, Brian, you missed it. You, you actually won something on the last live stream. This is the last metal print that I have here. Um, Sangria, I didn't get a hash kit on her, but I got her in July of 2015. So... She was a she was a hatchling at that point, so she can't be too much older than I'd imagine. She had a couple months on her. Sarah, thank you. New Mexico. Did you say New Mexico? Oh, I'm new. Okay, they're coming from the UK. It looks like. Thank you very much, Sarah. So check this out. This is the last metal print, and uh, I think we'll do some kind of trivia tonight for it. But yeah, but yeah, I'll I'll get it to you, man. You were the, uh, we do a random draw sometimes on, oh, what is this? What is that? Um, piece of shed skin from something, maybe? Odd looking. Um, sorry, we do a random drawing for videos that get over 100 comments sometimes, and yeah, your name came up. A metal print is exactly what it sounds like. It is a print on metal just like that so there's oh thanks ray i'm going to see you tomorrow morning ray ray over there you four reptiles is our next triple b tv episode just to give you guys a little uh what do you call it i'm i'm being something. anyway this is a metal pit it's tough i took this in my front yard in hawaii back in the day and this is the last one we have 
right now to give away. But I did just order another six or seven of different. Yeah, yeah, I took this pick. This is my front yard. Another. Um, uh, my brain doesn't work when I'm low to the ground. It's a good excuse, at least. So I printed, I've ordered six or seven more metal prints about this size of snake pictures that I took. I figured we should start giving away some snake pics on metal prints. So we're going to do that. So this is the last uh, thing. It's the last thing, guys. <laughs> Man of so many words. Come here, baby. Let's put you back in there. We'll, we'll focus on this trivia thing. Actually, maybe we'll pull out one more snake while we're doing the trivia. I think what we should pull out next is going to be <laughs> Roxanne. Let's take Roxanne out. Hey, Jack. Yep, snake metal prints. That's coming up next. That'll be next week's live stream. Assuming they, they might not get it by next week. Coming up. Anyway, this thing, tri trivia in a minute on this thing. How to get your name out there is a just start talking to people, man. Talk to people. Make videos. Put yourself out there. You want to get out there, you got to just put it out. Put it out. You watching ads over there? So here's Roxanne. She's a beauty. Hopefully she doesn't think she's going to eat right now because she's kind of giving me that look like she thinks that that's what's going to happen. But anyway, we will set up the camera and we'll see if we can touch her without without having to put a hook on her it's not food it's not food it's not food it's my hand Ooh. you're okay you're okay Ooh. you're good you're good That is, that is one talkative snake right there, folks. One talkative snake. Yeah, Ro Roxanne is one of the girls that we're going to feature on tomorrow's episode of Triple B TV. My buddy Brandon came over here and interviewed me here in my room, so that was kind of a different departure from our usual Triple B TV Snakes with Friends episode. That'll be cool. So let me get her out. <laughs> if this wasn't my snake and she was making sounds like that, I would think second, I'd have, I'd have several thoughts or many second thoughts about just throwing her up around my shoulders like this. But this girl just likes to talk a lot these days. She used to bite, um, but not anymore. All right, before we do this trivia, I'll show you the babiest. Actually, the babiest ball python I have is upstairs, so you're going to have to go for not quite a baby. <laughs> but, but this is probably the smallest ball python I have here. And he's in shed a little bit, so... Oh, oh, oh. But I will show him to you. And he's also my buddy's. This is my buddy Shannon Snake that... He got from Freedom Breeder, and I've been holding on to him until he's ready to ship and the weather's good and everything, which is not always common for the weather to be good here and in North Dakota at the same time. So this is a, a Cinnamon GHI Mojave, and he's awesome. He's awesome. He's been growing up doing his thing right here in the old Triple B zone. So trivia, trivia is going to be fairly easy, assuming a couple things, <laughs> like one of them that you watched yesterday's vlog. If you didn't watch yesterday's vlog, you're not going to stand a chance on today's trivia. That's, that's why if you want to win the trivia, you got to watch the Monday vlogs because they often have to do with what happened on Monday on the vlog. But 
there's a couple other things that, you know, depending on when you were born, you might not get this one. Depending on a couple things, you might not get them. But this is the one I wanted to ask. This is the trivia question that I had thought about last night. To win this metal print, I want to know, you guys ready? You guys ready for the question? You guys primed? Get your keyboard hand on, on the dot. What? There was a song playing yesterday at some point. And the time when that song was playing was when Hillary was whooping my Aunt Kim's butt at uh, ping pong. And I want to know what movie that song was in. What movie? All right, here we go. Ooh, who's that out there? A little Mr. Screaming, though. Bradley. Definitely was Karate Kid. I don't remember being in Rocky. I, but I definitely remember being in, in Karate Kid. Interesting that there's a lot of Rocky votes out there. Was that song in Rocky, too? I only know it from Karate Kid. I can't imagine they put it in Rocky and Karate Kid, but hey. Anybody anybody can like say for sure that that was actually in Rocky, too? I don't recall that song being in Rocky. That would, seem, that would just be too weird if they put it in Karate Kid and Rocky. I don't think Hollywood would have let that one happen. <laughs> Plus, Rocky was a little earlier in the era, I think, before that. I think Rocky probably came out before that song was even recorded. Good guess, though. It's funny that so many people guess Rocky. That's interesting. Similar kind of story, I guess, you know, fighting, championship. Uh... All right, Bradley. I know, how, I know how to get a hold of you. So let me write it down, I guess. <laughs> I'm inevitably, inevitably going to forget. So let me write it down right here. Bradley. For the Plumeria metal print. Got it. Wrote it down. It's right there in front of my desk. I can't possibly forget. Like I forgot about Brian. <laughs> Skipped. Sorry, Brian. I'm sorry. I didn't write it down. It's all right. At least we found you here on the live stream tonight. It was serendipitous. Workouts are brutal. It's fairly brutal. I was doing. I'm doing some stuff with Hillary right now, and yeah, it's going well. But just man, this is the high high intensity cardio stuff, especially after being slightly out of shape like I have been. But it's good. It's good. It's good. I'm feeling. I'm feeling real good. Uh, whoa, where are you going? Don't go up there. Nick. Well, I'm not sure that I have much else for you guys tonight. We looked at Sangria. We're hanging out with Roxanne. We did a trivia. <laughs> Blood veins! Blood veins, you can see them blood veins. Cecilia. Um, Gretel, at this point, I am doing videos and snakes full time, which I'm very, very grateful for. I've been working towards this for years, and I'm finally here. There's a lot of work to do, though. Much more work to do. Just getting started, from what I can see, in my opinion. I'm slowly, I'm putting her back in, in her cage here. She's kind of going. That was exciting pulling her out. I almost, I almost thought for a second that uh, it wasn't going <laughs> to, I thought she was going to give me a little love tap for half a second, man. I really did. But nope, nope. Shelly! Bye bye, bye bye. So let's we should do one more fun thing. We should do one more fun thing before we get out of here. I know, I know. Let's go check in on these boys. Oh boys! Hey cowboy, what you doing? Tanisha! What you doing, my guy? Putting some water in my bucket. Putting some water in yours bucket? Then, but 
Hey, Noah. What? What do you know? I know fires. Fires? Yeah. What about fires? That they're so hot, they could burn your skin. So. <laughs> no, water! All right. Hey, Eli. What do you know? I know moons. Moons? Yeah. What about moons? That the... Uh... I don't know. What is it called? A moon. <laughs> what about a moon? It's up in the sky. It's up in the sky? Yep. And I don't know anything now. <laughs> there is a moon. There's the moon. There it goes. Not in a nice, uh, nice pink, no, pinkly Lada! lit chem, chem trail. No, all right, guys. So tonight is also our first, we're doing a, a Patreon live stream tonight for the first time. We hit a goal on Patreon, and now we're going to do live streams there. If you guys feel like coming over and joining, you could do it for like a, it's, if you really want to get in, it's really, it doesn't, it doesn't it's not much. It's going to be a much more intimate type of live stream, and I'm looking forward to doing it. I'm excited to do it because it's going to be a lot, again, it's going to be more intimate. I think I can actually like, Take requests and we'll probably play some music and stuff like that. I don't know. We'll go. We'll see where we go with it. But I'm excited to do it because I've been wanting to do one of those for a while. So it's it's happening. If you guys don't know what the heck I'm talking about, there's always a link in every single video to check out exactly what I'm talking about when I say Patreon. So that's that. And these guys, these guys are getting all kinds of projects going when I'm when I'm. Look at this. They created this little barrier of sorts. They said it was a rat trap. But this was here when I came home from Freedom Bridge the other day. And so I had to, you know, well, I, I was driving, I was driving Hillary's car. So I had to pull around it a little bit. But <laughs> it was pretty cool. I don't know how Noah, Noah, how on earth did you move this rock? I rolled it over there. You rolled it over here? Yeah. That's a big ass rock. That's huge. Can I see you move it right now? Basically, I think you can basically be a, a dollar a month, I think, to be intimate, which is like, you know, 12 bucks a year, which is basically like, I think that's like a six pack of toilet paper. So if you if you really want to join, I mean, you just don't have to you know, you have a dirty butt maybe for a couple of days of the week. It's I think it's worth it. Honestly, you got this boy. You sure you moved that rock? But why why can't you move it now? Well, because I don't I don't have enough energy. <laughs> I get in the, early in the morning. Oh, he's so you already burnt out today? Yeah. <laughs> Apparently he's burnt out, so no more no more energy to move the big rock. I'm pretty sure I but the thing is I'm pretty sure Hillary didn't didn't do that. Or what else is what else can you get? What can you get with twelve bucks? What are some things that you can get for 12 bucks that you can do without? <laughs> I'm drawing a blank. <laughs> uh, you could get one of these old fridges. You could get it taken out of your driveway since it's not, you know. It was downhill before, wasn't it? That makes sense. Yeah, you could get this thing out of your driveway probably for $12. I'm sure somebody would do that for $12. Um, <laughs> me and Michael, me and my cousin Michael just took that thing down. Yeah, $12 is an odd number, right? Is it like, how about, what about like two dozen eggs? Is that still too much? Is that still less than 12? It depends where you're at. If you're in Hawaii, a couple dozen eggs is going to run you probably more than 12 bucks. A dozen eggs might run you more than 12 bucks. Last time I remember. Oh yeah, cigarettes. If you're, if you're smoking cigarettes, man, you gotta, you gotta let that go. It's not good for you. Daddy, There's way better things you could be smoking. What? Daddy, what's up? Just, um, Ricky, that, that, he made just walk 
over it instead of smashing it. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Because I just finished it. A dollar for a dozen eggs in Michigan? Good, love it. But I guess you actually have to be cold in the wintertime too. It's probably the trade-off right there. It's nice out here right now, guys. Oh, I saw you coming out of the back of my eye. Ow. Ow. What do you think? You got anything to say to anybody? Huh? Hey, where you going, Don Don? That's it. That's it. That's it. You're going to get got. Whoa, 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 whoa. Back up, back up there, mister. Okay, okay, okay. All right, we're out here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Getting busy, man. Oh, oh, oh. oh I'm going to fall over. And welcome to the segment of the live stream where we bobble the camera around just for your dizzy mint. Whoa, bud. All over the place, Sea Biscuit. All right, guys. Well, thank you for playing tonight. I'm going to sign out of here so I can prepare for the, uh, the Patreon stream. We're going to jump over there in about four minutes. So I'm going to brush my teeth and wipe my butt. And, <laughs> and Eli is butt naked. All right. You guys make sure you clear that stuff off the steps before people come walking down here in the dark. That's going to be somebody getting really hurt, and it's probably going to be me. I don't have to come drag you out of your bed and make you do it while you're sleeping. Did you catch all that? Uh, you can. You can. Let's go around that way. All right, guys. You guys have yourselves a wonderful evening, and... Thank you for tuning in to the live stream. Thanks for having fun with us tonight. Or you could use the light on your phone. Oh, I could do that, couldn't I? You guys take care of yourselves. Make sure to tune in Triple B TV tomorrow because it's going to be a good one. It's always a good one, isn't it? Good night, you guys. Love you guys. Wish you guys a great rest of your evening. Oodaloo.